Watch out for these trucking scams, part five. This one is called the teen driving scam. Whoever put this solid together did a good ass job, man. I mean, they, they had enough chicken in there, and not that much lettuce, you know, eggs, oh, tomatoes, okay. and all that shit. Yeah, man, that was it was pretty good. I like that, man. I like uh. that. <laughs> I love that, man. Zapora lockout men back again with another trucking reaction video for you guys and of course we're going to be talking about our favorite tiktoker the most hated she's back <laughs> she's back again she's back again she's not going to stop she's up to like seven thousand plus you wow. know let me just give a hand clap for that one right there seven thousand plus but she's back again with trucking scams number what number what, what number we're on five, five four five uh -huh. five five we are on trucking scams number five where 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 is where uh, man where <laughs> Man, uh, this this must have happened to her in her lifetime of trucking. You know, twenty I had to, you know twenty yeah. years. You know, twenty years of trucking. You you got a whole heap of experience, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She must have started trucking. It had to be the millennial. So she's. I, I I guess I could consider her a millennial trucker because she. If it's twenty years ago, so she had to start like what twenty nineteen. Because this is 2022, so it has 19, maybe 2018. Not, no, and she was in it for 20 years? Oh, uh, no, 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 2000. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Maybe 1998, 1999. Something like that, 99, 2000, yeah. something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, no. so, yeah she, can, she can garner a lot of experience within her time, man. That's, that's crazy that she coming up with these types of scams, man, so... Trucking scams number five. Watch out for these trucking scams part five. This one is called the team driving scam and most of the people that are targets are women. Inexperienced women who come into the trucking industry with little to no knowledge of trucking. Uh, okay, so how can they be experienced if they didn't have no knowledge of trucking? <laughs> See, y'all thought I didn't catch that. <laughs> y'all thought I didn't catch that. So when she first said it, I was like, huh? Hold on. Y'all y'all did not hear. Y'all thought I did not catch that. Let's, let's, let, me, let, me, let me back it up for you. Let me back it up for you so you guys can hear what she just said. Watch out for these trucking scams, part five. This one is called the team driving scam, and most of the people that are targets are women. Inexperienced women who come into the trucking industry with little to no knowledge of trucking. See? Experienced women with little or no knowledge of trucking. So how can you be experienced? Absolutely impossible, B. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, man. <laughs> I'm so confused with that first part. Okay. All right. So this is the, Ooh. so this, what we're talking about today is the team <laughs> driving scam. Zippor, have mm -hmm. you, have you, have you team drove before? Yes, I have, but I wasn't scammed. Okay. The money was split 50, 50 down the middle. He was just a alcoholic. Oh, okay. So let's, uh, let's hear what, let's hear what else she has to say about trucking scams in particular, okay. in particularly women. Uh, right. Men are usually the ones that are the culprits and what they'll do is they'll approach you and ask you if you want to drive team. Now, of course, they don't lead with that question, but they try to get to know you a little bit. You mm -hmm. become friendly. And then, of course, they suggest team driving. You know what? I got to I got to I got to admit that some men do, you know, come up to females and kind of kind of lead out with with team driving like, um, you know, I'm looking yeah, for. Yeah, that's true. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm I'm looking for. You know, I'm looking for a co-driver, and you know, I kind of. You know, 
I, I would like for you to, you know, co-drive with me. I mean, right. I, I mean, let's be honest. I, I'm a guy. I, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not going to come up to a dude and be like, bro, I want you to exactly. team, I want you to team drive with me, bro. No, I'm, I'm going to look for a lady. I mean, right. I mean, I, I wouldn't exactly think that I'm scamming you into coming to drive with me. I mean, I'm legitimately want I'd rather have a female than a male. Right. You know, mm-hmm. I, I, I'd rather have soft legs than hard legs. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I, I don't think I, I don't think I'm going to scam you. I mean, this is going to this is all about business. You know what I'm right. saying? I, I would think the scams from from male drivers that's looking for female drivers to drive are the scummiest ones right. that that's not about business. Right. You know? It's the same thing with not not just with team driving, but it's also with with uh training. You know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. know, a male and a female, the guy would would, you know, supposed to be training and and his mind is all in the gutter and shit. Right. He's not about business. Mm-hmm. That's right. He's not about he's not about business. So mm-hmm. is that uh, is that a scam in itself? No, that's not a scam. Well, well, if he has an ulterior motive. You know what I'm saying? It's more like he he wants to gain more for himself than actually building together or trying to teach somebody something or making sure they make good money. They're be they be all in it for themselves. Okay. They thinking about themselves most of the time when they do that. Okay. Okay. Because you know when you know when you team drive the truck is always running. The truck always. is constantly moving. So most guys are team drive for their own benefit. They just trying to make the most money and they not really teaching you anything. Mm-hmm. They looking for like a maybe a quick come up, you know what I'm saying? Because if you get if you teen drive with somebody, more than likely if the guy is interested in you or he's feeling you like that, he's always gonna offer you like fifty fifty. But it but you could tell the difference on the ones that not really trying to come up off of all that money, whether he like you or not, they'll probably try to pay you like twenty percent or thirty percent of what they make and they're still making more money than you and then more than likely you doing all the damn work. Mm, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. So they, so there's different types of levels. And so you mm-hmm. you wouldn't say scams, but but there's no. different types of levels to right. somebody that's interested in team driving. Right. What a what a what a what a female. Yeah, it could be a benefit if he's doing what he's supposed to do. If he's paying you right and he's teaching you what it is that you need to know. So, you know what I'm saying? You can grow within the trucking industry. That's all good. But you already know that guys still have something else in mind. You might get in the truck on the business aspect, but he'll put you in there as business. But then, like with some of the parts she said was true, like they will probably try and have sex with you. Or if you don't comply, they'll probably take it or kick you out on the side of the road. Anything could happen. It all depends on what their interior motive is when they ask you to team drive with them. Cause you already know I was seen driving with an alcoholic, and he threw all my shit out the truck. All right, so we'll we'll get into that in a second, but let's right. let's hear what else she got to got to say about the scam. What I've mm-hmm. seen many times over the years is these women will go ahead and team up with these guys. Many times they don't even know these guys, but they feel that because they're friendly and they hit it off and they're off to a good start and they're friends, that, hey, this will work out. They try to convince you that you're going to make a lot of money, that you're going to be running nonstop. And most of the time, what it turns into is, in my opinion, for lack of a better term, a hostage situation. Ooh, ooh, man, a Mm. hostage situation. Yes, you said hostage. Is is that is is that possible? I mean, I I have I, know. I have talked to a few females that that did have some some problems with their male counterparts as far as you know as far as team driving, but a hostage situation? 
I don't think nobody can force you to be in a truck. Like, how you going to be held hostage and you got to stop at truck stops to get diesel and you got to take showers and you got to get food? There's ways out of stuff like that. What are you going to do? Tie you down in the truck, not let you take a shower, not give you any food, just make you drive all the time? What? You know. I don't know about that. Oh, man. I, you know, I don't so, know about you, the hostage you, part. You, you, but, you know, they're. There, there is women that does have horror stories with with their male counterparts as far as you know mm. being in a situation on a truck, but mm-hmm. but like you said, you know the you you, you do got to get fuel, you do got to shower, you do got to eat, so right. there is a chance of you getting out of the truck. Like yo, bro, I don't want right. to be in here no more. I'm good where I'm at. Bam, bam, boom. Right. Man, she said hostage, man. So you can call nine one one while you in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? While you taking a shower, or you stopping to take a pee break, or get some food. You can always go in the bathroom and dial nine one one and say you got to come out of this situation that you're in. You feel like you've been held hostage. You don't want to be in the truck with this guy anymore, and he's going on with all these different type of issues. The police will come and get you and all your stuff out of the truck. Hmm. And then you figure out how you're supposed to get home from there. Now this is now. I'm assuming she. I'm I'm assuming she's directing this to like companies. So have any companies have? And this is a question for you, ladies out there that that been at if if you guys been in a situation. And what company was it? Because I I would tend to think, like, team driving is more geared towards companies because, you know, like Covenant, they force you to team drive. CRST Mm. force you to team drive. Uh, And if I'm not mistaken, uh, CR England force you to team drive. Right. Wow. Yeah, but Hirschbach doesn't force you to team drive. That was just a decision that me and this guy had made. You don't have to team drive at certain companies. I think that most of the time team driving is a choice, but I would never work for a company where I was forced to team drive. I couldn't do that. Okay. Okay. So Mm -hmm. she said, lack of a better term, hostage. Okay, let's see what's up. You will be in the truck with him. He will sell you a dream. He will promise you this. You will make all of this money. And once you get in the truck with him, it completely turns left. He will uh, start controlling you, telling you what you can and cannot do. He will control the money. Uh, They almost always demand sex. And if you do not comply, they will take it. Hmm. Wow. This now they do control the money they do control the money i agree with that so they have to pay you Mm -hmm. but demanding sex and taking sex that's a little extreme ain't it what you know what i did i I did had an interview uh, a couple of years ago with a young lady she was on the truck with her trainer and she woke up with the with the dude's hand down her uh down her pants oh my god yeah what did she do? I, you know what? I got to go back and find the uh, the episode. But yeah, that yeah, that's that's what she wow. said. She actually woke up, but this was a training situation. They they wasn't that's team driving. So, man, why do? Let me ask you something. Why do these men? Mm-hmm. Be, I thought that people became trainers because you make more money as a trainer because you're supposed to be teaching somebody mm-hmm. the road, how to drive the truck, they mm-hmm. backing, mm-hmm. they parking, getting in and out of truck stops without tearing up the diesel out or hitting other trucks mm-hmm. and your turns and all of that, that stuff. That's what it's supposed so to be. Where about. does it come into you trying to be in a sexual relationship with your trainee? Why are they doing that? I, I don't know, man. I, I, to be honest That's with you, I, I don't know. I, uh, you know, again, I, I would say these guys that's that's doing these training. Number one, nine times out of ten, they they're like either lease guys or leasing right. or anything mm-hmm. like that. Because that's why I heard majority of the horror stories from right. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
but you're you're absolutely right. We they supposed to come in. They supposed to train you on the ways of what to do in the in, in right. the truck stops, shippers, receivers. Make sure you don't uh, hit make sure anything. You don't hit anything. Make sure that the yeah. ELD is on point. Exactly. Teaching you how to run the clock. Teaching you how to right. turn in the paperwork. How to do your paper laws. Turning right. your paperwork. Scanning right. your paperwork. So, all that stuff. But then again, you probably got these these bozos. You know these Herbert. these 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 bozos that that been in the truck for ages and never mm-hmm. had a hint of of the P. They get they they get a a fine thick one in the, in right. the jump seat and boom you know the conversation be the conversation be good in the beginning but then day two day three will come and then you talk about okay you have a boyfriend uh, you know and right. this that and the other then it becomes uh relationship talk and then right. it becomes sexual talk and and all like that so but I, mm-hmm. I i don't know about actually somebody actually forcing themselves on a trainee or a female uh co-driver that's crazy wow man she said mm-hmm. she said she said that she said that went left real quick let me ask mm-hmm. you this let me ask you this just by listening to her do you do you think that this might be her experience just by listening to her it could be she might have started out like that the first couple of years it could have happened to her but if it had happened to her why don't she just say that mm. these this men pray on women because- i have experienced why she just don't say it mm. All right. you know what i'm saying make it more make it a reality you know mm. what i'm saying it's almost like she's going by what she has heard based off of what she has actually experienced mm. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Let's go. Uh, they almost always demand sex, and if you do not comply, they will take it. Uh, these men prey on women because they can see your gullibility, they can see how excited you are, and they know for a fact that you're inexperienced. My advice to you would be do not fall for this. This is a scam, it's a setup, and a lot of times you literally will become a prisoner in the truck. There are probably quite a few women who are already involved in this right now and you Mm. just really don't know how to get out some of you probably will watch this video and you cannot publicly comment if you Mm. want you can send me a direct message Mm. and let's talk about getting you out did you get value from this video if so then connect with me because i know a little bit about trucking i think you know a little bit about what happened to yourself (laughs) that part (laughs) yeah Man, I you know she over here talking like like she's she's talking like well if this is actually happening to you connect with me like what what you gonna do like how listen that? honey she ain't no telling what did ain't no telling what she capable of she already don't prove she's straight up savage <laughs> so <laughs> ain't no telling uh, what the hell she'll do you say she's already proven you say she's a she savage is. yeah she's a savage. <laughs> Oh, Zipporah said, says she's a straight up savage, man. Man, he might get him out of there. She might come get him herself. Hell, oh man, you know, probably bring that, <laughs> probably bring that camera phone with her and take that picture of of, of somebody. And call that company. And call that right? company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the most hated trucking scams, part five. So support, <laughs> man, you 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 actually had an incident on a truck with uh with a cold driver, with a male cold driver. What's yeah. what 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 happened in your situation? He was an alcoholic. Mm. He was an alcoholic and he was from Mississippi, so we would always split the home time. I was living in Florida at the time. Mm-hmm. Like, um, we'll be out like maybe three weeks and then I'll do a weekend in Florida, then three weeks later we'll do a weekend in Mississippi. Well, this particular time he was drunk, you know, and it was time for us to uh go to sleep because we had to take a load somewhere. Uh, pick up the load from the um from the terminal and um you know take it somewhere i forgot where we were going but 
he wants to get in the tractor and start driving. And I was like, yo, you've been drinking, you drunk. Let me drive mm -hmm. to wherever we were supposed to park it and go to sleep for that night. The man get in the truck, man. The man swerving all over the road, running over the curves. Okay, and stop, stop. Why the hell you let this man drive knowing that he's drunk, Zippor? I tried to drive. You didn't nah, hear that part? No, nah, no. Nah. I said, you've been drinking. Let me drive. No, I got it. I got it. You cannot nah, drink and drive nah, a tractor. Nah, it is not a car. Nah. Don't try to put that shit on me. I don't drink and drive. No, I know you don't drink and drive, but you, man, no. Hell no. Hell no. You should have took them keys, man. That's Don't something. you think I tried? Oh my God. All his friends was like, man, mm -hmm. you can't drive, let her drive. You can't be driving that truck. Mm -hmm. And the man drunk brown liquor, what they call whiskey. I, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know what the I don't know what the hell kind of liquor it is out there. I don't drink, so I don't right. know. Right. He had he was drinking like a fifth of brown liquor. Oh. I think they call it whiskey. Okay, so let's or something like that. Let's let's fast forward. Let's fast forward from that, man, because I'm I'm getting upset because of that. But let's fast forward from that. What happened to the point of you getting out of the truck? What happened for me getting out of the truck is like um, when he finally parked, mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I said, I'm going to call. Um, I said, I'm going to um, get out of this truck. Right. I'm going to get me a hotel room. Right. And I'm going to go back to the terminal in uh, Dubuque, Iowa, okay. and I'm going to have the company give me a rental car, and I'm going to go get in my own truck. Okay, that's, that's the what's man up. The man started throwing my shit out of the truck, out on the side of the road. <laughs> uh -uh. And I just called me an Uber, and I got my stuff. And I went to a hotel, and then I called my dispatch the next morning. And I said, we can't co-drive anymore. We're not getting along. I said, so I'm going to need to rent a car so I can come back up there to Dubuque, Iowa, and y'all can put me in another truck. Did you now, did during that conversation with 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 your uh, uh, driver manager, did you mention the fact that he was driving or you left that out and let them figure it out? But see, yeah, I was like, I told them that we just not getting along. I said okay. we're in the, we're not we're not getting along. I can't be in the same truck with him. Mm -hmm. I was like, he is aggressive, is what I said. Okay, okay. I said he's very aggressive. I cannot be in the truck with him. It's not going to work. And they was like, oh, okay, we understand. Well, what happened? I was just like, he's just too aggressive. All right, so I, said, you, I need to I need to be put in another truck. So you wouldn't know if he's still working for the company or not, or if he did get terminated because of of. He was he was still working for the company, but he wound up leaving and going to another company. He didn't even stay. Mm. He didn't even stay with the company wow. because I left. I I was working for the company even even after he left. Even after he left, I was um I was still there. Mm. All right. I was still there even after he left. So All I right. was just well, like, I'm, I'm glad Ugh. you was able to get up out of that situation, uh, Zippor. I'm glad that you're still here. Uh, but uh, yeah, trucking scams. Part that stuff five. Is dangerous, man. Yeah. Part five, according to our favorite TikToker, the most hated. So, mm -hmm. Zippor. We're going to need to get back together again because uh, she, she's she's pumping them out. She's pumping them out, okay. man. She, she got, uh, got kind of sly with one of her commenters, though. Hey, the Black Hand 2020. I don't think we've been formally introduced. My name is but I go by on TikTok. Did you know that Super Bowl ads cost an atrocious $5.6 million in 2021? And you stopped by my page? to advertise my brand for free. And I just want to say to you, thanks for coming out tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. Uh, please feel free to go through more of my videos and critique me. And if you want to, leave more comments. Yeah. 
When? I, I'm not sure when. Uh, she, she had a. Uh, oh, you talking about with the guy from yeah. the Trucker Scams Part Four, where she called him out and said she glad he on her page or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Because he told sure. her he didn't know. He told her that he did, that she didn't know what she was talking about. Yeah, so she came. You know, she came out, but uh, of course, her video is still down. So nobody really don't know about her unless. You know, you come over to the Lockout Men podcast show and right. uh, check out the video. Mm-hmm. Just saying, just saying, people still watching. <laughs> oh, Lockout Men oh, and Zipporah, Trucker's reaction to our favorite TikToker, the most hated. So, Zipporah, thank you very much as always. I'm going to go ahead and let you go so you can go You're ahead and get welcome. some rest. And okay. uh, and we'll get back at it as she comes up with another trucking scams. It'll be part six this time. It'll be part six, <laughs> and we can't wait. Watch out for these trucking scams, part five. This one is called the team driving scam. <laughs> 